Hi everyone, how's it going? I hope everyone is doing well today. I am Mifra and I am a recent graduate from the University of British Columbia and I also started my full-time job at Microsoft two months ago. So I wanted to make a video about my morning routine and how it has helped me be more energized, more positive and overall a bit more motivated in the morning than I usually was before. And this video is important to me because a lot of my friends and my families, when they wake up in the morning for work, they are either negative or they are not energized or just in a bad mood. So I was like that myself personally and I wanted to stop this negative pattern from repeating every day. And I thought, what am I doing in my life right now which is causing me to have these emotions in the morning which I don't like and I want to change. A couple of things right now have helped me a lot and I want to talk about them. The number one thing right now is that when I wake up in the morning, I don't take my phone to the bathroom with me and I also just turn my alarm off and I also have turned my notifications off for all my apps which I love to use the most and this has been a life changer for me personally and if you have not tried this I highly highly recommend it before I used to take my phone to the bathroom with me and I just sit there and also go through scroll, scroll through all the socials go through all my messages from the night before uh, which people have sent I have not gotten to and that has been a problem because you don't control what you're going to be seeing in the morning right when you wake up. Either you'll be getting positive messages like DMs, memes and stuff that make you laugh, sure that's great. But you might also stumble upon news which is negative or um, some triggering things on Instagram which might make you have a negative um, emotion right in the morning and I, don't, I didn't want that to happen for me anymore. And this could be anything and you don't know sometimes how you're going to be reacting to certain things. Either you're feeling bad about something in your personal life and you see a post and that makes you feel even worse and I wanted to stop that because I, do, I wanted to have as much control of my morning as possible and by going through socials, I don't control what I'm seeing at all. To avoid that, I just stop taking my phone to the bathroom completely. I leave my phone on the side of my bed, I go to the bathroom, I um, finish up my, you know, whatever routine I have in the morning and then I still don't take touch my phone. I go downstairs, I make my coffee, make my smoothie. What I do right after I sit with my coffee and my smoothie is I, I start my journaling, which is my second tip. And journaling has been extremely, extremely helpful for me. Uh, let me explain how. So I made a promise to myself that I would document my year this year, uh, 2021. And previous years, I've had a journal as well, where on and off, I used to journal. In the end of 2020, I went through those journals I wrote, those very sparse journals, and it really enlightened me because there were things happening in my life which I wrote about. It was so amazing to read at that time when the moment has passed and how I felt at that moment and how I can reflect back. And the whole process of reflecting is extremely important for me. And also looking back at how your life has panned out. So I have a leather bound journal right now, which I absolutely love. I got this from Amazon. and. Um, I have started my journaling process from January of this year, Jan 15th, uh, no, Jan 16th to be precise. So I write about things I'm grateful for in um, my life at that moment in time. And usually I start with the health of my friends and my family because that is the most important thing to me. That is the number one thing that is we are privileged with right now that everyone is in good health and that makes me feel already much more positive throughout the day. The second thing I write about probably is like that that's something that happened earlier in the week or just um, about my gym and how I'm progressing or just about something like my coffee. Like I love my coffee in the morning and uh, I can't tell you how much I love taking that first sip of my warm coffee. Uh, I absolutely love it. So I just write about how I love my coffee and how I'm just grateful to have, grateful to start this day with this amazing, amazing sip. And these things, these little, little things make my day a lot more positive than it was before. So that's the number one thing that like journaling, writing about your day. And honestly, it doesn't have to be anything big. Um, some days I just, I just write one line and then some days I just write a whole page, sometimes even two pages about how I'm feeling. And the best thing is when I, like for example, when I look back and the stuff I wrote in January or February or March of this year and then read about how I was feeling exactly in that moment, I get so enlightened about how far I've come. You might have very big goals for the future. You might want to achieve a lot of things in life and that is great and I highly encourage everyone have goals and a purpose in life. But it's also important to reflect back on 
the moments of the past and seeing how far you've come and how you've progressed and seeing areas which you could improve on for the future as well so reflecting back is extremely important for me but i would love to know your thoughts like what are your thoughts on it if you hate it tell me if you love it tell me i would love to know I would recommend you guys to check your current routine right now. What do you do in the morning? Really be aware that, okay, what are the things I'm doing right now which I could potentially change to have a better morning? And that's exactly what I did. I cut out all those things which could potentially give me something triggering in the morning and I cut those steps out completely. And then I got in control of my morning and with that, I am feeling much, much better. So yeah, I would love to know your morning routine, how you are you know starting your day to be more positive and stuff like that and if you've incorporated any of these tips in your life currently or you want to please let me know as well i would love to know and that's it for this week's video um it's a shorter video but it's a very important video i feel a lot of people um, i think would benefit from having a different morning routine so if you like these videos please like and subscribe i would love to know your thoughts and have a good rest of your day week month year ahead Bye bye